Hi, my name is Diana Britton, Managing Editor of WealthManagement.com, and I'm here today talking with Jeremy Eisenstein. He's the Managing Director of Goldman Sachs Advisor Solutions. We're talking about RA custody. Um, Jeremy, let's talk about, um, you know, why is Goldman focusing more now on the RAA community? Yeah, absolutely. It's so great to see you. Thanks for having me in this conference. This is always impressive, so really excited to be here. So in terms of RA custody, one, we obviously see the growth rates in the RA space. I mean, those are obviously hard, hard to ignore. So at the firm level, we, of course, have taken a, a keen look at the space and want to continue to focus more and more on it. For us, as you know, we focused on RAs for many, many years, predominantly on the product side. And so when you think about structured products and alternatives and lending and securities-based lines, the firm as a whole has actually covered RAs for quite some time. The issue has really been the disintermediation that exists between you, the advisor, and me, Goldman, the custodian. And what I mean by that is somebody sat in between us, right, another custodian. And so it didn't really allow us to deliver the whole firm. Now, with Goldman Sachs Advisor Solutions, our RA custody business, I have the ability to custody an advisor's assets on our platform and, of course, allow them to get unparalleled access to the firm. So we're really, really focused on the RA space. We think it's a fantastic growth opportunity for us as we think about the many business lines that really touch RAs today. The one thing I'll also mention is our One Goldman Sachs RA strategy, or One GS RIA, if you've heard of that. Mm -hmm. That was actually a strategy brought to our, uh, brought to the, to the broader firm by John Waldron, our president and COO. And really, it's thinking about holistically covering the RA space. And so when you think about all these businesses that want to, as I mentioned, touch RAs, there's so many different salespeople that want to talk to an RA or an advisor or someone in the home office. We're really trying to funnel that, hone in on one central or two central kind of key points of contact so we can truly holistically deliver all of Goldman Sachs to an RIA because it's a little bit more fragmented than we like. And so this one Goldman Sachs, you're going to hear a lot more of that over the next couple months and years. Yeah, I'm sure advisors appreciate that as well. As yes. Funneling. Um, so if you're an advisor that uh, custodies with Goldman, what kind of access do they have across the firm? Yeah, great question. We get it a lot. In terms of access, it's the things that we really want to lean into. So it's alternatives and your lending and your research and your securities based lines of credit. But the one thing I'm most excited about is our people. So the one thing we're really, really focused on is the intellectual capital behind the firm, right? Everybody talks about their people. We really want to lean into these subject matter experts to make sure that Diana, the advisor, has the ability to truly, yes, get access to the asset classes, but also learn about them, right? Have that direct point of contact that they can go and learn more about structured products or more about alternatives. We've had a massive adoption rate from many RAs that have joined us in those asset classes because they had someone to learn and call from and, and, and kind of run ideas by. One good example is we had, a, we had an RIA, a large RIA, who was running a proprietary option strategy. Mm. Very complicated, right? At least they said it was. Very time consuming, most importantly. So we were able to indexify it, if you will, or put an algorithm around it and then wrap it in a structured note. Those are the types of opportunities that we at Goldman are looking to, to really lean into so we can differentiate ourselves in the custody space, make, it, make life a little bit easier for those advisors who are looking for more sophisticated solutions. Yeah, that's great. And so we've been talking a lot here at Edge about growth, organic growth. How do you actually do it? Um, but how can an advisor's choice of custodian impact a firm's growth? Yeah, well, certainly biased as a, as a custodial provider, if you will. But I think from, from, from a growth perspective, it's imperative right, that you have a custodian that really understands what your business needs. And so I lean to, and my, my, my team always kind of makes fun of me about my three C's, but you use the word choice. Choice is what we lean into as well. You need the choice of custodian. As you know, 85 plus percent of the assets today reside with the largest uh, custodial incumbents in the space, who are all phenomenal and they're fantastic. They've helped grow the space tremendously. We're really trying to differentiate that with additional choice, right? Something that's a little bit different than everybody has really brought to the space that hasn't really been meaningfully challenging quite some time. That's where we're going to really lean into this additional choice. The second thing is the confidence. If you are looking to maintain clients, if you're looking to obtain new clients, new prospects, confidence in your platform, confidence in a custodian that, by the way, needs to be more than just books and records is really something we're going to continue to lean into. That's where all the product expertise, the subject matter expertise comes into play. And the third C is the communication. This dialogue between the advisor and the custodian has to be more, right? And so the more we can interact with one another, the more I can observe intake, you know, take in your feedback and hopefully action it allows that third C, that communication to be paramount in the organic growth that we believe and we know we can help firms grow with. So it comes back to choice of custodian, 
confidence in said custodian. Those leaving captive environments are my clients gonna follow me out the door. And then that communication. You put those threes together as I call them, we do believe we can really help you drive uh, what is one, a foresee a client experience that is differentiated and help you really grow from an organic perspective. So as, as we look out, Jeremy, at the custodial landscape, what kind of opportunities does Goldman provide RAs that other custodians haven't in the past? Yeah, first I'll say that our custodial incumbents have done a great job really democratizing independent custody. And so absolutely, you know, shout out to those. I think, again, we're trying to bring a bit of a differentiated approach to the space given our firm, given access to the, the broader ecosystem once you're on the GSAS or Goldman Sachs Advisor Solutions platform. Two of the things that come to mind uh, are really asset classes, right, or capabilities. And the first is, is alternatives. And so where others have generally treated those more of as an accommodation, we're really leaning into alternatives. We really believe in, one, having a curated list of alternatives for advisors to access for their clients to help differentiate their offering to their end clients, help them grow, back to the earlier question. We've actually taken it a bit further and made sure that we focus not just on a marketplace that allows the advisor to get access, but really focuses on the middle and back office support. Because all we hear from advisors, and particularly their end clients, when, when we get that feedback, is that the process to subscribe and redeem from alternatives is challenging, right? It's, it's, mm -hmm. it's opaque. And so we've really focused on digitization of sub-documents. We focused on automated capital calls. We focused on above the line reporting. A lot of those middle and back office uh, uh, support functions, right? The transparency behind alternatives, that's where we're really leaning in. That's what we're really excited about, given our experience as an asset manager, particularly within the alt space, which is Goldman Sachs Asset Management. So I'd say alternatives is one of those things. The others is lending. Lending mm -hmm. to us, that side of the balance sheet is so paramount when you think about an advisor and going after uh, or, or servicing clients correctly. And so, yes, we have our securities based lines of credit program called GS Select. We've actually recently, as, as recent as this week, where we spoke to one of your colleagues, uh, talked about or, or launched, I should say, uh, lending against alternative investments. And so it was that natural evolution when you think about stocks and bonds and kind of your typical securities lending that many do. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a very unique digital process around it, but that unique evolution was do it around more products. So first we launched it against GS issued structured notes. We have the ability to actually get collateral release or, or lendable value against those notes. And now we do it again for select alternatives. Those areas, as I said, lending, alternatives, that's where really we're gonna lean in where others have not. And that's what we're super excited about today is to bring something different. Most importantly, how do we bring a private bank or wirehouse-like solution to the independent custody space? Some of these solutions are very interesting, but they're not necessarily novel in the captive networks. Bringing that or transporting that to the independent space via the capabilities and ecosystem of Goldman Sachs, that's what we're really, really excited about. What is the, the most excited, uh, what, what's the most, the thing you're most excited about, Jeremy? Yeah, so obviously with it, within the space, as we said earlier, there's only a handful of these larger custodians out there. We really want to be a larger part of that conversation. And as such, we're really going to be leaning into some differentiated aspects that we talked about earlier, but it all comes back to additional choice. How much more choice can we give or flexibility can we give advisors, particularly those that are leaving their captive networks, particularly those that are, of course, are already independent, giving or providing additional choice, additional resourcing, additional subject matter expertise, and hopefully what is a differentiated offering is what's most exciting for us as we truly lean into this one Goldman Sachs approach to RIAs. And so I think there's a lot more to come over the next couple months and years, and hopefully we'll have a, a, a few more conversations about it uh, each and every year we come to this great conference. Yeah, and hopefully we'll be covering it all on wealthmanagement.com. Absolutely. So thank you so much, Jeremy. I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much, Anna. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thanks.